Hello, I'm Derek Bittner with Jova Consilium. This two to three minute video is to introduce you to our company and the level gauging products we offer. Our company was started in 1965 by a group of MIT engineers. We have over 25,000 sensors installed worldwide. The technology behind our sensor, called resistance tape, is unique. However, once you understand how it's physically constructed, you can understand how it works. It starts with a stainless steel core that has a mylar insulator covering all but a strip in the front. A nichrome wire, also plated with gold, is wrapped in a helix around this core. Due to the thickness of the mylar and the tension on the wire, the wire does not touch until you squeeze it. This core is sealed inside a jacket. When the liquid rises, it squeezes this jacket, causing the wire to touch the center core. The resistance between the wire and the center core is proportional to the liquid level. Some of the benefits of this technology is that it has no moving parts, nothing to stick, break, or wear out. It's not affected by foam, steam, agitation, or product buildup, nor it is affected by changes in density. We offer three different models, PetroTape, AquaTape, and ChemTape. As the names imply, they are suitable for water-based, petroleum, and chemical applications. These packages include a sensor, housing, and loop-powered 4 to 20 mA transmitter. The difference between the models is in the material used for the outside jacket and the protective channel. AquaTape has a polypropylene jacket and channel, while the PetroTape uses a Hastelloy jacket and nylon channel. The ChemTape also uses a Hastelloy jacket and is suitable for over 400 chemicals. In this picture, we show an AquaTape installed inside a still pipe measuring agitated wastewater. For oils, crudes, and refined products as shown in this tank farm picture, the PetroTape is well suited. Here, the optional internal temperature sensor can be attractive. These flexible level gauges are easily installed from the tank top into a still pipe. Well, for non-agitated tanks, a specially weighted sensor can be used without a still pipe. At sites where power is not available or running signal wires is costly, our wireless option is ideal. Here, a battery-powered field unit is mounted to the housing and a spread spectrum radio sends a signal up to 3,000 feet to a base radio. The output of the base radio is most often Modbus for use in a control system. One base radio can communicate with up to 100 field units. Thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you.